One of the great things about vegetable gardening is how scalable it is. You can start with a few containers of tomatoes. Maybe the following season, you graduate to a couple of raised beds. Eventually, you could start selling your produce at the farmer's market. And finally, push your skills to become a year-round CSA. But then, there are the Iowa State Fair vegetable gardeners, the blue ribbon aficionados, people who know how to meticulously pick uniform shapes, colors, and sizes for a wide variety of vegetables. People like Don Francis, a vegetable gardener who is in a class all his own. I put it all on a spreadsheet so I can keep track of it. There's, there's probably about 160 or 70 classes um, at the fair. And so I probably will, depending on how the hail affected me, probably 130 to 40, 140 entries maybe. I kind of really got into the state fair and showing vegetables at the state fair. I started about 24 years ago. And under three inches is called the pickler class. But you kind of get drawn into it and addicted. But yeah, that's a nice one. The ag building is just a fun environment to be in the day they judge them. But I don't know if I'll have a red entry this year because of the hail. We call it veggie day. So my team of people is my, my whether they like it or not, my family and my kids and my wife. And, and, uh, and it's just a fun day. You know, the state fair is obviously part of the reason I do it. So there you have it. I think I got them all. But I've just always loved gardening. I have to keep the stem on for the state fair, but although we're just practicing now. Oops, see, I broke it. So the whole gardening thing is the drive behind it. The state fair is the push to say, okay, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> but this is what was planted, what date it was planted. You know, it's, it's a year-round process. Every two days, pick, 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 pick. Pick beans, pick beans, pick beans. And you start right after last year's fair is over, you have to order your garlic, you have to think about ordering your onions for the next year. Oh, is, these are actually grown the prior year. These were grown in 2020. So I know I, to be ready for fair, I need to plant cucumbers on this day or beans on this day, and then it just picks up from there. Split, but I'm sure that's an heirloom, and that is gonna taste wonderful. And you know, you get to eat everything you grow, don't forget that. That might be an entry, two that match. Not quite, see, a little longer, but once the fair's over, that's when you can sit back and say, oh, now I can just, we can eat it now, and, and just, uh, we eat it clear through the season, but you, the, the pressure goes off of, gosh, I hope I don't eat the blue ribbon. <laughs>